Hi guys, today I'm working on a fairly common flash drive. It's based on Fison controller. It's got a single uh, memory chip on there and it's fairly compact from what I've been told. So let me take you through the steps that I would use to diagnose and troubleshoot these things. And hopefully by the end of the video, data will live once again. Presumably this is an eight gig uh, flash drive. Most likely it's gonna be a Toshiba branded uh, memory chip. And over here, we have a BS2251 67-5 controller so what could be the things that are not working for this device I guess the best thing would be to plug it in and test it so we get 0 0.03 and then it drops down to 0 0.01 since we know that our device is not shorting out you can safely plug it in for further testing so power up so right away we get this message if we clear the log the device aborted aborted initializing now two things that could be potentially happening here it could be something related uh, to the controller but I'm gonna say most likely uh, the problem is inside of the NAND uh, which is where all of our data is kept so let's go ahead and remove this chip and uh, try to work it directly I may have a controller like this that I can use but in my past experience when uh, the unit tries to load gets up current and then drops it usually that's something that isn't found on the NAND rather than anything that the controller has to do. I'm gonna go with my gut here and just go straight at the chip off recovery. This is an 8 gig unit so relatively should take not too long to perform. First thing we gotta do is lock the device in. Turn on the fume extraction. This is gonna get them nice and clean. Now we get the PC3000 connected to it. PS2155-67-5. We only have one chip. Read ID. Yeah, so it is a Toshiba ID chip and it looks like there's only one part to it. Let's just confirm that this unit uh, is 8 gigs. Parameters, flash chip parameters, basic. Yes, so 8 gigs. Everything is good. Let's inspect the gear. Um, the chips content real quick uh, read chip gonna read it direct first apply now we can go into page designer and select bit view Oh, we got bad pages, maybe. Yeah, you guys see these vertical lines? Those vertical lines are shifts in the data. Now, they occur because uh, from the factory, the developer hides some defects in the uh, memory, and those areas are simply skipped. Um, 
inserts are is actually listed right here the inserts will be removed automatically we don't really need to worry about them let's go ahead and clear this so 40 minutes it says it's gonna read 8 gigs once it's done we'll resume so once the reading is done let's have a look at what we got so we're looking at the original and we have the shifts now we're looking at the automatically removed bed bites cutting um, and shifts had been removed so you see the vertical lines are all aligned error correction codes as you can see uh, the read is very very clean alright so we're almost done there with the error correction uh, we got 32 megabytes of bad sectors okay I guess let's try to build a mix uh, and then if we still need to run error correction we can set uh, the last 30 megabytes to get corrected overnight we're gonna need to find what type of XOR this device uses right so we go into tools no sorry disk inspection XOR analysis it gives us options right away so the XOR ID uh, 171 186 1503 1619 try to select them all and now it's going to try to validate them by applying them in different parts and see which ones actually are the most suitable options it actually offers us to apply page transformation right away to save time and not have to do this manually we're going to actually accept this and uh, let's have a look at what we're finding uh, we're going to run raw recovery you can see that it's finding some JPEGs, but they're very, very small still. Apply this element. So it splits it by the block and joins it by pages. Let's see what do we have now. To check whether or not we have interleaf involved, we can go into here and scroll and it looks like we have it if we run raw recovery in this part now we should be getting fairly bigger images you can see there's some images that are actually quite big let's just gather up some more data in here and then we can move on to the next step All right, that's, I think that's good so if we look at the JPEGs we see there's some red ones, there's some green ones. Uh, we do have quite a bit of bad sectors here. So if we go in and open up a file, I can see that it opens up fine. So our mix is good. This is a full size image. If it opens up, that means it's good. If it doesn't open up, chances are it's still got bad sectors in it and uh, they will most likely need to be corrected let's go ahead and see what kind of assembly we can use in this case I don't see anything specifically in extensions uh, but what if we go into translator and select Fison uh, this is going to be 2251 let's try to see if this can work and voila we have a flash drive built we got a partition coming up we have root and we got folder structure now if we select it let's have a look at our fat table copy fully read perfect now let's have a look at all the use based so there's only 3.6 gigs of data that's on the device that is used uh, and if we create a map of invalid ones out of those 3.6 gigs we only have 8 kilobytes we can actually go ahead and try to read them 
uh, to make the recovery perfect. So let's set this to 99 and let's go with automatic power detection. Try different uh, voltages to see which one it reads the best with. For us it wasn't a long process at all. It quickly read it out and uh, now we have fully extracted content. So there we have it. Uh, report shows that there are 418 folders, 10,270 files making up 3.49 gigabytes and all of them are perfect. Uh, we have no bad sectors, everything is restored using the translator, the recovery worked out beautifully. This is the type of result that I wish for every single recovery. If you guys lost data on a similar device and you need it uh, recovered, feel free to check the link in the description box. All of our contact information is there. Uh, we'll be happy to help. For those of you who follow this channel uh, on a regular, thank you guys again for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer and I'll see you guys all in the next episode.